So adapting an exercise program to the elderly is exactly the same as adapting an exercise program to someone who is 20 years old, right? So when we, or before we even give anyone a training program, it's important to assess what they can currently do. So we do a movement-based assessment where we look at basic moving movement patterns, such as a push movement, a pull movement, a squat movement, or squat variation, uh, and a hip hinge movement, for example. These are, if you want to call them the big four in terms of day-to-day -day movements that one might do. So it's assessing what they can currently do, what it currently looks like, and whether or not they can actually control the movement based on the instruction we've given them. And then accordingly, because we're fortunate to have a gym where we have a variety of different equipment, we can then pick an exercise variation based on their ability and start there. I think the most important thing with the elderly versus someone who is 20 or 25 years old is putting them in a stable environment where we can focus on one thing as opposed to having various external factors that may require them to spend a lot more time thinking about the exercise as opposed to doing the exercise.